Hi, Pipers. This is another one of my favorite Hanukkah stories. It's called Potato Pancakes All Around, a Hanukkah tale by Marilyn Hirsch. Potato Pancakes All Around. On a cold winter afternoon, Samuel the peddler walked down the road to a village. He passed children sliding and sledding and skating. These children are out of school early, he said to himself, because tonight is the first night of Hanukkah. When Samuel reached the village, it was almost dark. He knocked on the door of a house. Mama opened the door and smiled at the peddler. A guest is always welcome, she said. Come in, we're just lighting the first candle. So they all sang the blessing together. The two grandmothers went to the stove. Aha, thought Samuel. Now they'll start making potato pancakes. We'll use my recipe, Grandma Yetta said firmly. No, 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 no. Mine is better, answered Grandma Sophie. Who needs a recipe, said Samuel the peddler. I'll show you how to make potato pancakes from a crust of bread. Some say for potato pancakes, a pickle of fish or a cabbage is good said Samuel, but I say a crust of bread is best. Oh, that's ridiculous, said Grandma Yetta. Oh, crazy man, said Grandma Sophie. We're hungry, cried the twins. So let's try the peddler's idea, said Mama. Samuel took a big bowl from his sack. Who wants to hold it, he asked. We do, yelled the twins. Samuel carefully grated the crust of bread into the bowl. It looks delicious, he announced, but it needs a little water. The grandmothers were so angry, they didn't even look. The peddler tasted the batter. Hmm, some say it might need salt, a little pepper, perhaps. Even I know it needs salt and pepper, said Papa. Well, if you insist, I won't say no, replied the peddler, and he added salt and pepper. Samuel noticed a chicken looking in the window. I think this chicken is trying to tell me something, but what would a chicken say? I know, said Rachel. The chicken is telling us to add some eggs. I've heard of that, agreed the peddler, and he added six eggs. He takes advice from the chickens, cried Grandma Yetta. Do you have any suggestions? He asked her politely. May you grow an onion with your head in the ground, she shouted. An onion? Good idea, said Samuel. So David hurried to chop up some onion. Samuel smiled. Any minute now, we'll have potato pancakes. But what about the potatoes, asked Sarah. I grated all these potatoes all by myself. Well, it's not in my recipe, said Samuel, but it's a sin to waste food. So what can it hurt? I'll add your potatoes. And he did. What will you fry the pancakes in? asked Grandma Yetta and Grandma Sophia at the same time. In a frying pan, of course, answered Samuel, and he took one big frying pan from his sack. Chicken fat is best, insisted Grandma Yetta. You might be right, said Samuel. No, 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 goose fat is better, declared Grandma Sophie. I won't say no, replied Samuel. So Samuel took a big spoonful of chicken fat and a big spoonful of goose fat and began to fry the potato pancakes. Delicious smells filled the house. Samuel kept on frying. More and more potato pancakes piled up. Finally, it was time to eat. So they ate and they ate and they ate potato pancakes all around. Even Grandma Yetta and Grandma Sophie agreed that the potato pancakes were the best ever. And they danced and they sang and they played games until very late. Grandma Yetta and Grandma Sophie gave the children pennies. Then everyone went to sleep. The next morning, the family begged Samuel to stay the whole eight days of Hanukkah. Thank you, said Samuel, but a peddler must move along. I know you'll have a happy Hanukkah. Now you can make potato pancakes from a crust of bread. Oh, I love that story about potato pancakes. I think some of the pre-Ks might recognize that, that it's a little similar to soup from a stone.